Babylon Getaway, The Burning Moon. Okay. Good to see you back, Director. Ah, We're about to arrive the Burning at the Burning Moon. Moon Festival. It's operated by an old fellow, Leonard Moon. A notorious eccentric and, reportedly, rather neurotic in the not-so-good sense. Okay. Besides an awful amount of noise, chemicals, rampant fornication, and various other sapient indulgences, I can't even begin to imagine what more we might encounter. You know, once upon a time, Ms. Orion was nearly decapitated at one of these things. Total madhouse. Sounds like fun, if you ask me, but then he didn't ask me, so it doesn't really matter. Right, let's see. How bad could the Burning Moon get? Short of a moon, you know, actually catching fire, but, uh, details. Director, welcome to the show. I am pleased to report that our acoustic barriers are fully engaged and we are thus safe from any potential cerebral hemorrhaging. Excellent. The dull thump, thump, thump you can hear is coming from the Burning Moon Festival. Oh. Named for, well, I suppose you can look out the window. Wow, it's so bright. Uh, Heel, why are they setting the moon on fire? Because many, it's, it's called just one of the life's many moon, thrilling burning mysteries. moon, yes. Get them up. Right, I suppose we'd better get this place up and running. Our contract is for the duration of the festival, which is split between various acts. I'll pop that information up on the objectives window. We're expecting calls from Leonard Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a turnout. I'm going to give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am going to kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that'll be him. Wonderful chap. A very clever and handsome fellow, by all accounts. Never met him myself. Wow, hey, um, so things are already popping off down here, and some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this cleared up before people start getting spooked that the festival is dangerous or something. So, yeah, uh, oh, 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 open up when you can, please. Mm, thanks a bunch. It does look rather gnarly down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it, Ms. Orion has been working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, two more decorations. Uh, there we go. So from that, what is the right? Laser want? surgery. Ah! Apples weren't cutting it, so to speak. So we switched over to high intensity mining lasers to handle some of the crustier conditions people come right. down with. As it turns out, having industrial energy devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. Uh, since when did we do that? Huh. I'm not sure how Ms. Orion managed to turn lasers into a healthcare solution, but here we are. Let's build some so that we can treat our incoming patients. Alright, you got it. Okay, rooms, laser surgery. We're ready to open up at your command, Director. Wonderful. Okay, laser surgery in, door in, laser dance pad, there we go, and decorations. Yink. Yink. And a cart. Totally not a crash cart. Absolutely not a crash cart. There we go. Door is in. Need to hire doctors for both of them. No, I'm not hiring the psychopath. Why do you ask that? Level 3 warp flash. Okay. Welcome to diagnostics. And. Nutrition need increased, but he does do less damage, a bit thick. You know what? I can work with that. Okay, Dr. Hired laser surgery is online. Can we set their Whoa. specs? Expertise boning chamber. Oh, terrific. Fine. Nice, nice. And okay, at least that one's an expert on laser surgery. Right, uh. Do, 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 what else we need to just pause for a second? What else we need to set up? Uh, staff lounge can go there. Set that in. Staff lounge prop. And 
two unique decorations. Uh, yes. Or when you want to turn your doctors into the product, that works as well. Give them that poster. Boop. Confirm. Training room's probably overkill at this point. Uh, let's get a skin lab in. Yank. And decorations as before. Objects, how I have cash, 48,000. Let's see, conveniences. Can just tuck in there. Along with litter bins. Um, yeah, there we do. Now we need to get some seating in. Plant decoration provides seating. So let's see. One. Then if we plant decoration there, then plant a bit more seating. Okay. So skin lab's in place, need to doctor. Actually, warp flash is a skin doctor expert, so he'll work at level six while he's in there. And in terms, I need to get another doctor in for diagnosis. Do we have any diagnostic experts? Trainee, boning chamber, skin lab, diagnosis. Bit of a glutton, but doesn't damage the room. Okay, you know what you'll do. And congratulations, you're on the job. All right, I think we're good to go. Open everything up. Let's go. Excellent. Now let Mr. Moon know that we're operating and ready to receive patients from the festival. Mm. Oh, hey, you guys are open now. Apparently, that's that's good, actually, because people were, like, dying down, down here. My security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. Works for me, I suppose. Our first patients uh, are arriving good. now, Director. Should they have access to a reception desk and a diagnosis room, they may begin their adventure of not prematurely dropping dead. Happily, that's already in place. Thank you for pointing it out. All right. Uh, I thought the skin lab was assigned. It's uh, fine. Maximum wells. Oh yeah, Walt Flash is meant to be working there. Okay, so that's that sorted. Uh, yeah, we need a bone lab. No, I did not want you... Hey, um, so we got all the people who got encased in liquid metal rounded oh, no. up. And they've been, like, aggressively shoved into your shells. Uh, so they're on their way now. Please fix them. Uh, we need their post-festival reviews for our socials. Thanks. Wonderful. Okay, docks assigned, I think. And ah, here come the metalheads. Sick as a dog. And jellified. Great, we're gonna need Director, another skin lab. The patients who got coated with liquid metal have just arrived. Our Wonderful. first patients are beginning to arrive, and some of them are species we've not yet encountered. Ms. Orion's uploaded a couple of dossiers for us to get acquainted with. and I are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, artists, explorers, and their family dynamic has a lot to do with their isolation. Uh, They're created ah. by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. 
They just pop out of the ground without a reason for their existence. Like Despite you do. their solitary nature, other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones or something, who knows. Okay, so keep the plants going and they stay happy. The oldest I know recorded a claim to have an age of 337 years, but they might have been lying. Okay, most I know report their first marriage is walking alone. I see. Society. Dyer is a presumed intelligent superorganism. For life. Controlled by or access. Uh, ha! Absent any coherent instruction, they started going for distance. They have no intrinsic sense of either community or family, and therefore move in to other cultures. Right. Okay, fair enough. Oh. And the Bali. I see. These hearty solroids are patient, precise, and durable. They rarely need a break, and it takes their bladders an almost supernaturally long time to fill up. So there's that. They adore order and live in discreet tribes, all with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure known as concatenated ordering. The exact details of how that all works aren't entirely understood, but it seems to work for them, so more power to them. Okay, however, since they're large, they do need to be, yeah, big hospital. I see. Yoink. Right, uh, undecorated area. Okay. We're getting there. Shuttle bay. They should have a... Oh yeah, I didn't actually hire him for the skin dock, did I? Right, uh, you'll do hire a sign. Welcome the board. Um, do I need to get another diagnosis room in? I probably do. Right, uh, utility diagnosis. Yoink. Do place a room. Set. Set. And confirm. Then hire a dock. Do I have a diagnostician? No, but I do have a trainee. Okay. Yank, you're on the job. Just so start getting people through at fairly rapid speeds. Metalheads are on the go, and we also need to get some more seating going. Um, Decoration, and everyone should be happy. I think. Well, let's get a few posters splashed around as well, just to help the mood a little. Not sure actually knowing what goes on this skin lab is going to be good for you, but uh, it might be helping the mood. Okay, do we get some more plants in there? Mm, yeah, we could. Hand me that uh, plant seating. Right. Uh, one and two and three. Okay, set. How's everyone doing? Wow, you guys are just lasering the metal off our crown. Yep. That's so cool. I'm not even sure if I care if they die. I guess we hired the right people, huh? Possibly. Alright, laser disco, go! The dance floor is just to liven things up, yes. Hey, he's fine. Oh, good. The metal heads are recovering. And diagnosis is still on there. We probably have another. Oh no, we have got diagnostics going on down there. Good. Right. What is. Okay, he is in fact reboning them. Good. 
Don't carry me! Oh, okay. Curious decorations poor. Oh, be going better. Alright, skin labs coming through. Right, in you go with a stick if need be. Half of those guys are better now, which is great. Also, they were in the cheap seats, so if you kind of want to take a break, I'm sure it'll be fine. Really? Right, uh, let's see, that needs a skin lab deck, so... He'll do. Skin lab effects this boosted. Hello, oh! Just Hello, Baz! Bob is really... uh, efficiency regulator, technique monitor, experience gun. Um, let's go with... We'll have the technique Pick monitor. That up just for you. Bravo on handling that emergency. And it's in the bag. Uh, Mr. Moon is apparently occupied by his exhausting labors, but he's provided Stab a pre recorded message for you. I'll play it now. In the event that you guys do a great job. Hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks, here's money. Um, goodbye. Oh, we got a hollow dock. Excellent. That means we can get another... Uh, I've got two skin... Up. Let's get another laser room up. Do, 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 do. Laser surgery. We are receiving another call from our client. There's an issue with a singer, apparently. Or maybe not. Well, hey, it's me again. Um, so one of our headline acts, Twiggy Pop or something, is sick, like, big time. Okay. She's already finished her set, so it's not the worst thing if she dies, I guess. Uh -huh. It would be great for our media coverage, though, so please keep her alive for, like, two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. Hey, save Twiggy Pop. Where is Twiggy Pop? Um, that's actually a very good question. Where is Twiggy Pop? Alright, let's get that other... Uh, actually, no. Not skin lab. Um, laser surgery. Wow! Heal! Twiggy Pop has arrived! I think she makes the best harsh noise in the galaxy. Merit, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, ma'am. A machine, huh? Well, nice to meet you, mate. So, looks like I ran into Festicrosis bacteria at the festival, and it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could fix this? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you're welcome to sit in one of them. Prioritize uh, set. Okay, thanks. Why hey. does everything smell of chlorine? It's a hospital. Believe me, it beats the alternative. Vesicrosis, a nasty infection that your skin, clothes, car, and grandma. Some kind of flesh eating bacteria? Okay, great. Keep that to yourselves, please. I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. Uh, ha. Well, she should be okay. Laser lab is ongoing. Do I want to get another skin lab up? Probably. Yank. Uh, yank. Yank. And... Spin set. Confirm. Then hire a... Oh no, we've already got a doctor for the room somehow. Okay, works for me. We'll hire another doctor or two. Uh, laser surgery. Uh, training wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, congratulations, you get to float until we find you a room. Director, a plague of noshers have come to visit our wonderful hospital and harass the pleasant patients within. Hunt them all down and find them for cash. Very useful they are too. Oh, there's another one. Yoink. Wait, what's a nosher? Okay, oh that's a nosher, right. Click to destroy. Hunt the noshers! Or 
Uh, okay, we've actually killed the Noshers. Right, Tricky Twicky Pop. She is prioritised. Oh good, the med box rats as well. Collecting lone balls will grant you one lone might. Neat. Oh, thank you. Right, the med box are on it. Where is Twiggy? In laser surgery, okay. How's she doing? Hey! Thanks for keeping me alive and everything. Yeah, the welcome. Scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control. And I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. Seems like you guys know what you're doing, and I used to be a doctor. So I want to join up. I've sent your machine my resume. Okay. Hey, Director. I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor, working Inspiring in the corporate Inspiring song, eh? Tough gig, but it's made me pretty good at the job. Well, also, consultancy. <laughs> really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby better at their work. More focused. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's me. Thanks for taking me on, Director. It's nice to get back to doing something I actually care about. I'm sure that Mr. Moon is going to appreciate us uh, nicking one of his best acts. Absolutely sure of it. Alright, let's get her... Uh, let's see, we've got one, two diagnosis rooms, one, two, three skin labs, one, two laser surgeries. Um, how about... Yeah, we'll get another diagnosis room set up. Here. Welcome to the team, Dr. Pop! Oh, Thanks, Give us little sense. guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team, traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Dr. Pop in now. Okay, uh, consultant. That's to wait, that's going to have to wait. To all. Hello. Stabilizing solution, and we'll have an extra that med box as well. Thank you. Come thank, again. thank you, Baz. Right, consultants. This is our consultant roster, which will allow us to bring consultants into the hospital. Let's bring Dr. Pop into the hospital now. And there she is. Hey, yeah. Director. Glad I can get down to work. Uh, Medi, how's that coffee looking? I'm sorry, Twiggy, but Heel says coffee is illegal. And that we'd all die. I said nothing of the sort. Director, consultants are quite different from our other staff members. Let's inspect Dr. Pop to find out more. Okay. Diagnosis priorities. Uh -huh. I'm off to catch up with the news. Dr. Pop, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. I see. As consultants earn experience, they gain powerful, unique abilities. And sometimes we need to make hard choices as to which ones they acquire. You can see the perks Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know about that. Let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. And also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her um, not to do that, maybe. Thanks. Mm, too late. Honestly, I am more interested in the fact that I have a consultant. As you treat your face with condition, your... Okay, you need to speed up a search. Right. Ah, so we can. Director, Dr. Pop is calling about a psychotic break amongst the festival goers, which, judging by the current set list, seems entirely justified. Hell, I didn't know you were a music uh, critic. Director, it seems people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? They're on their way, and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, psychological condition. Ms. Orion's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll be in touch with the details. The Dream Dreamarium! So, 
We arranged a trade deal with a planet ruled by psychic clans. Okay. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent us their services as therapists. Basically, with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. Which can no possibly so go wrong. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh dear, the clam is watching me type this. Sounds like it might okay. do the trick. Once we've got some of those rooms set up, I'll dive right in. Could be kind of creepy. Yes, it could. I'm going to need some space. 51,000 creds for that. 56, that. Okay, let's get this up and running. There we go. They're all set, and that means some that patients with get... the aforementioned space phobia have arrived. Yep. Or oh, wait, uh, how about space fright? Seems like you guys enjoy a good pun around here. Well, <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. Space fright. Uh, spectacular work, Miss Pop. Thanks, Heel. Oh yes. No, not at all. Space fright. Hey guys, uh, so some randos decided to weld rocket boosters to some asteroids and I couldn't stop them and now space rockets headed straight towards your station. Uh, sorry and good luck with all that stuff. Oh, thank you, Heel. I'm not critical, only desire, not enough curious decorations throughout the hospital. Right, we're trying to get everybody on spec and large chunks of the hospital just exploded. Right, diagnosis. Medbox, go. Yoink. Director, it looks like the festival isn't the only place to find rock and roll. <laughs> 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 yes, wonderful. Uh, we've taken on significant damage from the impact. Wonderful. How are the medbox already getting it free? Quick, so we're good. Right, um, okay, we have a trainee on the way to do that room, and we should get the space fright dock shortly. In you come. Wait, no, you're, you're not meant to be going that way. We need a, we need the dock. Ah, there we go. The dock needs to get those. Ones. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do, 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 do. But there, we successfully dealt with the, uh, Space building. Cash is starting to come back in, thankfully. Um, can we get some more critical... Uh... Yeah, it's curious decorations. Uh, objects. Decorations. Curious. Art. Art decorations. Curious decorations. Here we are. Always open bar side but that will do to get this going. One there. Then you use there. a clam to suck out their bad vibes? Wow, mm -hmm. I wasted so much money on therapy. Um I hope it's legal. I'm not a narc mostly, but yeah, cover your ass. Sound advice, Leonard, sound advice. Okay, that hopefully takes care of the uh, lack of curious decorations. There are plants all over the place. Stop complaining. Who needs a doctor? Okay, there already is somebody in the room. Dreamarium is on the job. Okay, better get some seating in to let these people hang for a bit. Drink. There we go. Hey, good. That actually sat down now. Um, <laughs> Doctor's on break. Oh, hello, Baz. Round your way. Right, well, hang on to one. that. Smashing. Yes, thank you, Baz. Ooh, it's payday. Hmm. I actually gave you nothing, but thank you anyway. Right, drop a med box down. Get them deployed. Everyone else seems okay for the moment. Uh, can we get the dock back here, or is that going to be an issue? Now we really do need a dock. Right, uh, docks, 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 research generated, research generated. Fine, drop you in there. Teleport you in, get you on the job immediately, and start treating those space fright patients. 
All right, go, 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 go. Yoink. Yoink. Back to the loom for me, Galactica. And there we go. The psychic clams doing their work. I should be mildly worried about that, but uh, apparently, no, I'm not. I just don't remember why I should be worried. Come on. Right. Treated. Treated. Hooray. That's cured a bit more space, right? I'll just they'll get to work on those for me. Everyone else seems to be okay. The skin lamp's chugging away. We're making money. All seems to be in progress. Top truck is on the job. Okay. So far, so good. Hopefully, we've got a diagnostician in here. Serenity. Wait. I must learn there's anyone here? Uh, nope. But we'll get you in on the job. Wink. Not enough ordinary decorations throughout the hospital. That's unfortunate. I suppose we could try and get another space freight uh, set up going, couldn't we? Um. Hmm. Right, space fright, rooms, remarium, and lock in. Set. It Boy seems there. like the psychic clam stuff's going pretty okay. You know, I was married to someone who thrived on absorbing negative energy. Ah, that came out wrong. That was supposed to be a burn. Never mind. Never mind indeed, Doctor. Thank you. Uh, oh, we have a Dreamarium specialist. Wonderful. Uh, hire and deploy. Thank you. And objects. Let's get another weight bench in there just to help things along. Yink. Okay, patients are coming through. That'll start getting them all treated. So far, so good. Come on, up we go. Yink. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams. Uh. Treated. Hi. Hey, sorry Treated. about the ex-wife uh, thing. <laughs> I've actually never been in a relationship and I don't know why I lied to you about it. Uh, can I come up there? There's stuff I'd like your mollusk to make not happen in my brain anymore. That's gone excellently, Director. The Dreamarium is working a charm, and none of the patients seem to have any permanent loss of function. All right. The room is now approved for long-term use. Another job well done. We're blazing along. Try to get another reception desk in to handle everybody. And we get paid. Blueprint. Cleanliness beacon. Automatic cleans like rubbish. Vomit remains in the last. Radius can now be crafted. Ooh. It looks like we picked up a cleanliness beacon. It projects an energy field which dissolves problematic waste, trash, and so on. Testing did suggest that tooth enamel isn't necessarily safe either, so I'll keep an eye on our complaints box. Director, Ms. Orion is calling in. Something about the wonders of Craftium. She's uh, quite excited. Craftium. It's a wonder material that does exactly what it says on the tin. Mm -hmm. And I should know. I named it Craftium. <laughs> I like to think that one was a stroke of brilliance. You can use it to recreate practically anything you've seen, even rare craft tech, like that cleanliness beacon you just acquired. First, select the crafting mode to begin the process. Okay. Rooms, crafting mode, additional overview lenses. Uh, objects. Hmm. Inventory. Ah, inventory. Here we are. Crafting mode. Now, craft anything you like. I see. Can we? Well, oh, we don't really seem to deploy a hollow dot just yet. So, let's get. Let's get a technique monitor in. One brand spanking new. Uh, 
Well, I can't see what you've made. Uh -huh. I'm sure it's great. Craftium! So cool. Now, Wonderful. I've got one more thing for you. What have you got? The research lab. It's got a big old supercomputer. Your doctors can use it to improve our craft tech blueprints or gain new insights into any of the conditions we've encountered. We uh -huh. used to hook their consciousness directly to the computer, but, well, it occasionally created a nightmare portal which trapped their minds in a digital hellscape for eternity. So we don't do that anymore. No, no, that's always a terrible thing to have happen, isn't it? All, All right. right, that's enough sapient interaction for one day. Catch you later, Director. Let's give that new research lab a spin, Director. Place one down and we'll see if we can't suss it out. But for the moment, I want to get the uh, room upgrade in. Hello! Oh. It's me again. Oh, hello, Baz. Having a uh, gander. Perfect. And an efficiency regulator wouldn't be a bad idea either. Hope it helps you Yank. out. Right, inventory regulator. Right. Let's see. One efficiency booster in there. And we'll get a XP booster to run in there. So hopefully that will result in the dogs racking up the XP and also we can get the cleanliness beacon in to just generally help out. As you treat spatially the flower, but okay, once per hospital for a unique power. Yay, rep. Right. Cleanliness beacon engaged. Right. Now let's see about this research lab. Oof, not cheap. Um okay. Well, it's all for science, I suppose. Hello, Baz. Goodbye, Baz. Thank you, Baz. Right. Uh... Yank. Place at least one hypercomputer. There we go. Optional place more hypercomputers. Okay. Confirm. Research level is research advanced blueprints. Advanced blueprints get you cheaper materials and improves the troops. The research Yay. lab is capable of two distinct functions mm -hmm. generating insight into conditions and upgrading our craft tech blueprints. Let's upgrade one now. Select the research lab and in the research interface, select a blueprint to upgrade. So let's say I want um, let's go with the efficiency regulator. With the blueprint selected, our doctors will begin to develop the improved version. This uh, new ha. improved blueprint will dramatically reduce the crafting cost, but unfortunately it's attuned specifically to the station we're currently on. Boom. You'll need to complete the research again in each new hospital. The research lab can also boost our research efforts into any condition of your choosing. This will generate some research directly. It also generates insight into conditions. Insight greatly increases the research generated for that condition whenever you have it stockpiled. Sounds simple enough. So basically keep everything running. Also, I probably need to get another star flash going. Shockingly, it's Leonard Moon again, calling about another ailing musician. I see what this is. Oh my wants. god, there's another whole musician who is now dying for no reason except to make this whole festival a waking nightmare. Can you fix him, please? His name is Clem Bansig, and he's a coital tyrannosaurus, which, which probably uh -huh. has something to do with all this, but I don't judge, and neither should you. Or anybody. Of course. If I want to swap it. around with roadies until my flaps catch fire, that's up to me and the creator. Clem, I mean, if, um, if Clem wants to do those things. Look, just get him back to us, okay? There's too much on the line for it all to be taken down by Bansig's love for the fizzy pump. I'll give you lots of money and goodbye. It's a music festival. I suppose stuff like this was going to happen. Alright, uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Rest of the place appears to be running out of Oh, you can tell you what, you're now working in diagnosis. Congratulations. Dr. Fu is here, in fact. 
Now, where is Clark? What's the point? Do I need to put another doctor Kilo, down that there? VIP just arrived. He's shaking like an aging pirate. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. I, Clem Bansy, am badly diseased from my many fallacious adventures. Actually, sir, it seems like you might have just had too many energy drinks. Oh, uh, uh I didn't think you'd actually know. Please, uh, don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Naturally. Yes, patient confidentiality is vital in our line of work. Of course. Treat Clem. Oh, we need to prize her. She's on stage in three minutes. Turns out there are side effects because you enough energy drinks to kill a large cat. Yes, yes, there are. Right, toxin addiction, health mode seven percent, nuclear section, desk. How do we get him through in two minutes and forty seconds? That's a question. That's actually a very good question. Why is this bot always stuck? Maybe. All right. Um. Move that bench over to there. Let's see if it helps. In fact, okay, just so the pathfinding doesn't get completely frazzled. That will hopefully help things out. Now, what's going on with Claire? Moving to diagnosis 2. Okay, well, we can prioritize him through. Right, there we go. Straight into diagnosis. One minute fifty-five on the clock. Clem got diagnosed? An addiction to energy drink? Huh. I don't know why I thought it was something venereal. Branding, probably. Honestly, probably. I don't even know if Coopers have anything down there. They could be like mushrooms or something. Right, so he's heading to the Dreamarium. Okay, okay, we might be able to get him out of the door in time. Hello, Galactica. It's me again. Fancy oh, that one. More stuff probably wouldn't help. Uh, technique monitor. Yeah, why not? That have one's one of those. Yeah. Some handy gizmos in there. Indeed. Like well, that. I'm gonna have to wait for them to finish up in the Zonarium, though. Which is a bit inconvenient. Can we hire a couple of doctors? Any good researchers? Trainee one and uh, trainee two. Get them into research. Yeah, at least they can't do any actual damage while they're in the uh, supercomputer lab. Well, at least that's the theory. Why are we putting another staff room in here? Or upgrading this one? How is Clem? Is she on stage in 30 seconds and he's currently in the Dreamarium. Can we get him out of those energy dead Back to drinks? the room for me. Thanks, Baz. Come on, get him treated. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, right, he oh, is... Man. Yeah, I good. I feel way better now. Now I can get back to uh, romping again, which I do all the time, just so you know. Uh, of course, you, Clem. Best uh, of, of course. Yes, totally. Right. Research is going. Efficiency regulator coming at zero. Excellent. So they're working away on that. Uh, who else have we got? Can we speed anything up over here? Research on space flight is all well and good. I wonder if I could just set up another wing and wow, start hey, moving. Pretty them. fast. Thanks. I can put these pills back on the cabinet and get back to having jazzy times at the festival. Good for you, Leonard. Good for you. Right, new blueprint. Toxin energy extreme. This item fills all needs. Side effects may include death. But at least you won't ever have to worry about these things again. Got to tell you. Had a handful of two cans of toxin energy squirreled away in uh, somewhere. Of course. Uh, I figured I'd donate them to you. Considering they're so tasty, busy and all, and caffeinated. And they get your mind going, and you start to vibrate, and, uh, oh, I miss it already. Hey, can we just turn this shuttle around? No. You're cured, go away. Let's see. Sick as a dog. 
Ah, Night Vault says Pan called Space Invasion. Shrinking down the phone about lights or some such business. What the hey, Leonard? Are medical guys any good at the cyber? Because we have issues with the cyber. And if you don't do something, I'm going to have a panic attack. Mr. Moon, I, I'm not entirely sure that our contract covers. It covers it. I put it in there. Holograms are just as important as the musicians to me, man. Uh, They're huh? people. It's in the contract. You have to believe me. Please. Director, holograms can't be covered because they don't actually exist. That said, it is probably worth doing this so that our client doesn't cork it before he can pay us. So, that means we'll be performing health care on the lights, using our trusty canisters, of course. What of we'll need course. to do is take the canisters, cart them over to laser surgery, and shoot them with the lasers until they're so full of lasers that we can do health care on the lights. What? Okay, treatment canisters it is. The canisters are ready to be thoroughly lasered. Get them lasered. I won't pretend that I understand that for more than 10 seconds, but uh, yes, we'll fill the canisters with lights and that way they can... I don't even. <laughs> uh, you know, well, let's get this uh, zone up and running. And if we set it up as a secondary reception, essentially a mini hospital, with a bit of luck, it will uh, allow us to handle patients a little more efficiently. So one and oh my god, the lights are still out! Oh no, I think I'm dying. Not like this. No. no. We are going to get nice. paid. I'm... I'm sure he's fine, Director. Yes, yes, I'm sure he's fine as well. Uh. Right, diagnosis up. And... Let's see, we'll add... Another boning chamber. some vending machines and that's a beautiful seating in as well I think we'll get into that but just having people sitting outside the treatment rooms uh, do, 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 toilet one and two and a rubbish bin nice and central okay higher okay we have a dock on the job for that one Docks, 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 docks. Do we have any? Uh... The doctors are done putting all the lasers in those canister guys. That oh. they are, robot. Our treatment canisters are ready to be delivered down to the festival. I've been talking to them a bit, and they seem kind of weird, but nice. You've been talking to them. I'm fairly sure that nobody's home. Please help me. Yeah, we've been sharing mm -hmm. data. Being a motorized tube seems hard on people. How long will they be gone? Well, uh, the energies involved will totally atomize them on delivery, so, you know, a while. Oh. Yes, yes, terrible. Uh, wave goodbye to your friends, <laughs> Medi. <laughs> We're going to have to deal with the Medibot revolt at some point, aren't we? Hello, Dunrana. All right, we are away to well. the festival, and hopefully Leonard will stop freaking out. Go. What a thrill. Oh, good, you're still here. Uh, do I seem any younger? I'm in a new body and I feel gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, we see your canisters yes. coming and they're full of blazers. Uh, great. Good luck. And somehow, Leonard Moon has returned. What a thrilling twist. Yes, yes, thrilling. Thrilling's the word for it. All right, get the staff lounge in. Decorations. Wow, that worked. You've officially saved my ass. The holograms are back on and everyone is vibing and stuff. Thanks. Wait, that worked? I mean, okay, Leonard paid for it, but, um... Try not to spare enough. Place. 
and all you Terrans can get with money. Sorry, I, I don't know why I said that. Uh, I'm going through a bad divorce, and my dog has bubonic plague, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not normally racist. It's the stress. Sorry. Ah, uh -huh. we'll forgive you, Leonard. We'll forgive you. All right. Attach one the hollow dock. And engage the... Leonard Moon is having old problems by the sounds of it, and not just personally. Right. Oh, hey. Hi. Um, so you ever have one of those days where it feels like an evil spirit is trying to harass you into a psychotic break? Mm, no. Nope. Anyway, um, all four members of the band, the Exolodes, are about to die soon from burns they decided to get as a prank, I guess. And if you can't heal them, uh, please just eat them or whatever you people like to do. I'm, like, totally done with this. Thanks. Okay. I have no further questions at all, ever. Let's get another skin lab up and running, because by the sound of it, we're going to need to do it. Yoink. Yoink. Do, 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 do. Yoink. And we'll stick one of the uh, hollow docks in there. Okay, up and running. So, we now need to save the Exelodes. Director, the Exelodes are now stepping off the shuttle. We'll be able to experience the full richness of old culture. Slightly singed. Wow! This is amazing! Cool spot, man! I am dying big time! Yeah, it's always about you, right? Don't you care that Bim is an anxiety spiral and has no toilet to be in? Whoa! That's a harsh and unhealthy form of mind reading and catastrophizing that I'm just, like, not into. It's fine, Tim. I'm sure I'll find somewhere to hang out. You've got to stop letting Jim walk over you all the time, man. I'll get you a max caffeine, and then you can chill out a little. Bro, I am not great with this carbon drama triangle situation. Whoa. Look at that power of fluids on the floor. I'm gonna drink that like right now. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Right, well, we've got them all flagged as priorities, so hopefully we can get them all fixed in five minutes. It should just be a case of uh, skin lab treatment. That's all we're going to put in a psychiatrist for the Megabots. Yes, yes, it's entirely possible. Uh, Right, let's see. Docs are running diagnosis. Secondary reception desk is online. Do we have anybody working the bone lab? Yes, we do. do, do. Right. Do, 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 do. Research lab is on standby. Docs come here to advance medical research. They're so doing their jobs and treating patients. That's probably to get some active research going. Um, hold doc emitter conditions. Right, let's boost up for jellification. So that is actually a moderately uh, tricky condition. Ooh, one of the docs has levelled. Okay, uh, moving to bin. Right, we'll assign you to the Jumerian uh, training. How are the XLOs doing? Okay, first one's hitting the laser surgery. Why is he getting the laser surgery? Uh, mine is not. All right, let's get to it. Go, Hollow Doc, go. Yoink. Turns out patients are much happier about industrial strength laser treatment when their room resembles a disco. Go figure. Right, how are you? I feel so good. I might even try and raise my arms above my head again. Hooray. Thanks, health people. This has been really pretty okay. You're entirely welcome, my elderly friend. I look forward to hearing your performance. Wow. Really? No. Good luck to you, Mr. Clyde. Uh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm going to boost. Oh, uh, a couple of those. And get them to avoid. Inventory. 
just make tuck that hey, one in there. It's great I'm still alive. I feel good, like physically. You guys have any stuff for uh, being in a dark spiral of anxiety and self-doubt? Electrocute my brain or something. Afraid not. Good day, sir. We uh, we do have okay, the Jamari. That's, that's fine, yeah. Or fine. I mean, it doesn't quite qualify on the electric or brain side, but uh, it does help with uh, whatever reason you want your brain electrocuted. I think, maybe. There should be a right. good range there of we guns go. here. And that. And oh, an extra med bot's in. not a bad idea. Let's get the bot deployed. Uh, inventory upgrades, consumables done. Toxin fills all needs with possible side effects. Is anybody critical? No, people just complain about decorations. Really, I thought I had the place quite tastefully decorated. Inspiring posters, random alien flora, the occasional rolling medibot. I thought I was screwed, but then these eight people did a whole bunch of hell stuff to my awful body. Uh -huh. and now, I can do music again. You're Wild. welcome. Oh man, you got them all fixed already? Okay, that's actually really great, because I was starting to wonder if I should just nuke the festival and, like, flee to the outer rim. No comment, Leonard, no comment. Oh man, I feel like I could choke myself out. I haven't been in this good shape for like 300 years now. Thanks for the new mojo, health people. Hmm, maybe, maybe, Legolas, maybe. Ah, we got an extra med box. You. This has really made my day. Doubles. Right, let's see. Bench doubles. We're gonna feel close to uh, Ode, apparently. Um, yeah, why not? Plant, plant, and plant. Get a bit more seating in there. Everyone else is fine here, although we might want to get some. Yeah, get some extra benches in here as well. Just keep everybody off their feet for the moment. Done and done. Okay, seven acts until the finale. Maxites have been spotted in the station. Oh good. It's probably not a good thing. Bites patients and makes them need to go to the toilet. Yeah, that's definitely a Leonard problem. Boone is in a tears over a situation with his headlining musician. Of course he is. No! No! The final act, the headliner, the colossal musician, they got a disease that melted their skin off. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh my god. I think I'm dying. Am I dying? I feel like I'm being electrocuted. You've got to fix this. Please! Hello, Galacticare. Hello, Gazria. I don't believe we've been introduced. Gazria, for the purposes of this event, Baz has a lot to say about you. Right, Seems to think away. you might be capable of great things. Sorry for the inconvenience of my affliction, but I wanted to see if Just all mildly, yes. To be. It's quite funny to screw around with Leonard Moon, and I figured that having his headliner get half consumed would give his heart a real kick. Oh, yes. This does hurt rather a lot more than I thought it would, though. Having your skin rapidly eaten away isn't my idea of an interesting night. Any chance of a hand? Already on the job. I certainly don't see why not. Well, this has turned out to be rather interesting. Word gets around, eh? As before, we'll need to dispatch a shuttle to take a tissue sample, and from there figure out the best way to treat Gazria's rotting flesh. Well. Dispatch one when you're ready. And the shuttle is away. Already done, and it's back. The sample has been collected, and the ambulance is on its way back. Let's get it over to diagnosis. Right, they're both set for priority, which means I'll get straight through the queue, and that should speed things up. Um, I think it's more plants. For Alice. Low purple most time, but otherwise they just sit there. Yoink. Bit of greenery never hurt. So we just got done analyzing the sample, and the damage is pretty gnarly. She's been devoured by the same bacteria I was. Lovely. So treatment cancers, I presume. 
Treatment canisters are deploying now. If we can run them through skin lab and laser surgery, we should be able to patch her up. Yes. Uh, uh, pardon? The treatment canisters. The colossal laser surgery? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, terribly sorry. Uh, paper for a new fusion train design was just released. Uh, rather distracting. What? Nothing at all. Uh, good luck in there and so on. Of course, Heal. I suppose that's the problem with having a brain the size of a planet. You are easily distracted. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, can we get more rooms going? Staff lounge, training lounge. They've got a staff lounge here. They've got Don't Berman forget to lab. place some vending machines to feed Laser your surgery. patients and staff. Oh, quit complaining. They're getting fed. Honestly, anyone would think they were demanding the full five star service. Yank, yank, yank. Um. Although a few more vending machines wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, let's see. Decorative lens. Vending machines. Okay. There we go. Oh, Quark. Vending machine. 800% of your energy needs without any nasty natural ingredients, of course. Hello! It's me again. Yes, hello, Baz. So that should cover all of that. Angry patient, eh? Why are you angry? Right. Health 53 needs food. Vending machines needed to fill it. There is a vending man on. Will that do? Yep, okay. Have to wait, waiting a while. There's a vending machine right there. There's not much I can do if he doesn't want to eat. Let's try the other sort of vending machine. Space. Uh, cheers, Baz. Should we queue one of one waiting for nine minutes using the bin? Uh, not sure what happened there. He seems to have gotten himself stuck. Which is a bit puzzling. Oh, let's just displace him. Yoink. There we go, and that should hopefully persuade him to go and actually get something to have eat. The and are ready to have a crack at Gazria's dreadful meat situation. Spectacular! Let's get them shipped off. Director, right. you may launch the shuttle when ready. There we go, and he's got himself some food. Right, he must have just got stuck somehow. Shuttle away. Gazria is back on the go. You know, once we've stopped the whole thing of her being devoured by colossal festicrosis. I think Nothing Baz amazing. might have been right. Honestly, I haven't felt better since before this moon was formed. Whee. Shame what they're doing to it. Still, I can get close to them and begin to understand their minds. So I'll take hey, what she's I can back. get. You're some good eggs, galactic hair. Take care of yourselves and watch out for the debris. What debris? What debris? I mean, we've only been hit by rocks once in this mission. Looks like we're all done. Let's check in with Gazria. Oh, well. Oh, that was perfect. I guess I never had anything to worry about. Uh, thanks for all the health care you did, and here's a shipload of credits. I gotta go prep for the big finale. Toodles. Mm. Toodles, lad. Toodles. Right. Oh, and he actually did pay. Quite generously, in fact. Yoink. I was completely level. You can unlock special rewards for three, four, or five star, and we got a four star hospital rating. So yay, Leonard Moon hologram, and well, not sure what the five star rating was, but we got there. Seven acts until the finale. Are we done, or are they going for an epic finale that will blow up the? Oh hey, the moon is actually on fire. Oh hey, Leonard. What does he want? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, thank you for sticking with us. We're about to blow the biggest damn hole in this burning moon since the festival began. Get ready to ring in the end times with all the other delinquents out there. Mm -hmm. Because it's fun. Because it's wild. 
and just because we f can. Behold! Leonard, are you about to... Yes, you are in fact about to explode the moon. Well, that's, uh... Yes. That's quite something. I'm sure everyone's fine, Director. Mm. I, uh, I suppose I'll update Galactica's chart of the system to, uh... Remove the moon. Don't worry, just remember well, to add the asteroid belt. For, director. I and the other staff can take care of the after party for you if you'd rather head off. Our next contract awaits whenever you'd like to get us out of here. Well done, by the way. That went rather well, I thought. You're welcome, Heal. You're welcome. So yes, that's the first two missions of Galactica, and I think I'm going to be Your carrying choice, on with this. <laughs> we can stick around here and bask in the glory of our spanking new hospital. Or we can move on to our next job. Uh, we'll move on to the next job, and we'll move on to the next job next time. So I will see you all tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Friday is tomorrow. Unless you're watching this on YouTube, in which case it isn't. And we'll be off to wherever our third contract takes us. Healthcare throughout the galaxy, ladies and gentlemen, for fun, for science, and for profit. Until next time, farewell.